Hi, welcome to the Craft Channel. My name's Corinne Brad, and today I want to show you briefly how to use the Scan and Cut SDX1200 to do beautiful little calligraphy projects like this, so you can make inspirational quotes, thank you cards. There's even an offset feature that you can work, which I won't show you today, but uh, you buy a package, a calligraphy package, and with the kit you get three pens, a pen holder, a nib positioner with a second small nib positioner. And the nib positioner is, is quite useful actually, it's this thing here. And what it does is it ensures that when you put your pen in the holder, it is in the perfect place to get that thick and thin stroke. Because any of you that have tried to do calligraphy in the past, like I have, it is the angle of the pen that makes it work properly. And being a left-handed person, I really used to struggle quite a lot. So, take your nib positioner, put your pen holder in there, lining up these arrows, pop your pen inside the pen holder, and I'm going to use the thick nib, and then just twist the nib so it fits in that slot. So you then, you've got a little bit of give, but not enough give. While it's in the slot, if you take the grey band, lift it up, turn it to the left until you feel it tightening against the pen and then let it drop down and let the teeth move into place. And what that does is that locks your pen into the pen holder with the nib at just the right angle. And then you just have to drop down that nib holder to get the pen out. Don't try and force the pen out with the nib holder in it. It's still upright because you'll damage the nib. Pop your pen into the uh, cartridge holder. Don't be tempted to push it down like I do and just lock it in place as normal. Now I've taken one of the um, pre-drawn uh, sentiments and because I'm rubbish at putting the card in the right place and getting it in the right place, I've just centered it on my display mat and I've taken a piece of A5 card and centered that on my cutting mat. Feed your cutting mat into your machine. Select the draw option. And the other thing, the machine has reminded me to check this. There are two scanning function levels on the scanner cut. You need to move your bed to position two you'd normally have it on position one when you're cutting. I don't know why, but the machine does tell you to do it. So who am I to argue with the machine? And you can hear this drawing. I don't know whether you can see this drawing. You will in a minute as the mat comes further out. And the other nice feature you get with the package is you've actually got a font that you can save onto a memory stick and put into your scan and cut and type your own messages on there and arrange it differently so that you don't have to stick with what's just in the package but that's a, that's a demonstration for a whole nother day. But you can see how nicely that's come out. And it does, because it's drawn with a pen, it just looks so much like a hand-drawn calligraphy project. So I'm just gonna take that off the mat. Don't forget, whenever you're doing any of these projects, your mat will come with an acetate top sheet. And as soon as you finish cutting or drawing or doing what you're doing with the mat, it's worthwhile putting that top sheet back on your mat so it doesn't pick up too much dog hair. So there you have it. As I say, if you work with a thinner pen nib, you get a more delicate side. With the pre-made um, messages and sentiments, what you can do is you can adjust the, the height and the width. So you don't have to have it in that standard format. You can stretch it out You've got flourishes that you can add. And again, once you are connected up to the Wi-Fi, you can use the offset function. So with this, I had congratulations. I drew it in red. I offset it seven millimeters to draw it again. And then without taking the mat out of the machine or taking the paper off the mat, I changed the pen nib, took the offset off, and then did it in black over the top. So you've got like a, a shadow behind it. 
very easy to use, you do get great results. And it's a much nicer option, instead of like a, a rubber stamped greetings on a card, it's a much nicer option to have this calligraphic effect. And then you can add your little scan and cut flowers to it on a printed background, stars to hang in a kid's bedroom. So have fun with it. I hope you enjoyed that demonstration and uh, we will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. If you've been inspired to create, please share your makes with us in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed videos by The Crafts Channel, hit the like button. Want to see more of us? Then click subscribe. See you next time.